I'm Stan, CTO at IABM, and there's no question seamless streaming is super important. I'm lucky to have Michael here today from Kton, and you've got a product called Media Extreme, but tell me about the company and the product. Okay, uh, thank you, first of all. Um, Kton Technology uh, is a relatively small company, uh, but has been around for uh, 20 years. We have always been in the broadcast industry at, um, in, uh, originally we were doing uh, encoders and decoders, uh, hardware uh, equipment, and then moving on to software and now into, into the cloud. And the Media Extreme service is based on our Caton Cloud um, uh, the infrastructure. Right? And it is uh, specifically designed for extremely efficient and uh, reliable um, streaming of uh, high quality uh, broadcast. So this is media rate. extreme, is it? Exactly, media right. extreme service is is the uh, service that sits on top of the uh, kitten cloud. Right. right. So when you look at streaming, <coughs> you're doing a lot of live streaming, and the internet's not exactly reliable. Mm. So how, how do you deal with failovers? Okay, uh, this um, is the core technology that um, of what we have. So what, what we have developed is uh, the Caton Cloud comprises of um, uh, right now over 100 different POPs uh, around the world. And all these POPs are built on top of public internet. That is, is a fully meshed network. Every POP is connected to every other POPs across the public internet, right? So uh, it's, very, it's very cost efficient. But um, as we all know, uh, as you just mentioned, the internet is not reliable. So what we did is the brain behind the brain behind the cloud is um, we use AI algorithm and machine learning algorithm to uh, solve this problem. So um, AI and machine learning <coughs> requires a huge amount of data. Right? So at the back end, we have a big data platform that monitors and stores uh, constantly all the performance data of all the links within our network. Um, uh, you know uh, parameters such as um, uh, round trip, uh, round trip uh, data RTT uh, and, and jitter and you know uh, things like that. Uh, and also we record and store uh, all of the um, uh, BGP data uh, that is used for different ISPs. Uh, this is critical for uh, efficient routing uh, because, as you know, the uh, the BGP agreement between different ISPs are negotiated based on commercial uh, terms, commercial issues, right? And, uh, uh, and it takes um, a big role in um, uh, deciding how to route packets from, you know, from one place to another. Sometimes, for example, in, in Singapore, we got, the, we got the issue that one ISP would route the data to the United States and back, you know, the, the quintessential tromboning. Uh, effect uh, on the internet, and we want to avoid that. Therefore, uh, the BGP data is critical in uh, in all of this uh, decision making. So all these become the background data in the big data warehouse, and then we apply machine learning to train them, uh, so that for any particular job from uh, A to B, uh, the transmission, the algorithm, the AI algorithm, will come up with the most efficient. Uh, top performing paths, you know, and it's not only one path or two paths, uh, it's actually a graph that consists of dozens of potential paths with top performing links, okay? And while the data is transforming, is, uh, I'm sorry, transmitting across this uh, path, uh, it constantly monitors the current performance as well. If it finds any uh, other link that is better performance, a faster, it switch, dynamically switch to the better link, or if it hits any bottleneck, uh, for any reason there's a, um, uh, there's, there's a, there's a, a congestion, slowdown, right? a slowdown, yeah. it switch dynamically right, to right. a better path. So therefore it's like water flowing, uh, flowing down a river when it hits uh, a rock, it naturally diverts to an another path and it hits another block, it naturally diverts. And the traffic never stops. So it sounds to me like uh, you know, the Kton cloud is unique because you're focusing on streaming and not on storage or compute. Exactly, exactly. This is what we call the distributed cloud platform, uh, which is different from the centralized cloud platform uh, such as the you know, AWS or Azure, 
right? Those centralized uh, cloud platforms are for sharing compute and, and storage, where us, you know, we, uh, our cloud is uh, focused and specialized on uh, efficient and extremely right. reliable so that, so that makes sense for a lot of you know performance and stability. Yes. How about security? Uh, security will apply the standard security uh, on top of the uh, on, on top of the link. You know, for uh, with with the with the protocols on the link. You know, in the link we have um, uh, our version uh, of protocol called CTP, the KTN Transport Protocol, uh, which is um, I would say fundamentally similar to uh, SRT because all the Engineering that goes, you know, behind the FEC and, the, and you know, uh, is is similar, but um, and we apply the uh, inter industry standard security uh, on top of it, right? So, uh, and on top of that, we have the our uh, our our transport layer security as well, you know, so that uh, we have the uh, a stream ID, unique stream ID, you know, uh, that that goes on top of it, so that we make sure that only the designated uh, receiver can receive it. Um, so, for, for example, we do a lot of um, um, live event broadcasting to movie theaters. You know, um, we broadcast uh, uh, you know, these uh, stage performances, concerts, to hundreds of movie theaters across the world. And we have to make sure that the, only the right um, uh, theater receive uh, the right content. You know, uh, so this is all protected through the industry standard uh, security protocol as well as our transport layer protocol. Well, Michael, it sounds like you're ticking all the boxes correctly, but you've even uh, done some extras on mm. the side there. Great yeah. chatting with you okay. today. Okay, thank you.